Hey guys, this is Debbie Boyer, and in this video clip I'm going to share a cool tool called Flippity.net. And Flippity.net is a free resource out on the web, and you do not have to have a username and password. However, you'll want to be logged in with your Google account because it is going to save the spreadsheet right into your Google Drive. So be sure that you're logged in with Google. But once we're at Flippity.net, you're going to see that there are some index cards on the main home screen. You can read the front card, flip it over, read the back card, go to the second card, read it, flip it over, so you get the idea. When we go through, though, you can also see that we can add an image, which is an awesome tool, and flip that over and learn a little bit information about the image. One that I really like and is great for sharing content of your course is to take a question and then flip it over and embed a video right on the card. Now it'll need to be a video that's not blocked by our server's filter, but we have lots of choices to be able to use for that. So to get started sharing content with your kids in a new way, we're going to click on Instructions and Template, and you'll see the instructions written here, but it tells us to get this template and then to make a copy and when we make a copy, it's going to put it over into our Google Drive. So a copy of this is now in my Google Drive. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is rename this template to something that I would like. So I'm going to call it the Seven Years War. And I'm going to go ahead and put Flippity on the end. It'll just make it easier for me to find. And then this is the content that populated the cards on the Flippity website. And I'm going to highlight that and delete that information out. And you can see that the colors of the cards were set, and we can change that, edit that. Uh, one thing about using colored cards, it's a great way to differentiate for uh, special needs students and even gifted and talented students. Another way to differentiate is when it opens up, the cards will be read orally, and you can change the language for your ESL kids where the language can be read in their home language. Also for Spanish classes, for example, you could have one side of the card read in English and what's the word in Spanish. You could hear, hear the difference there. So some cool tools. So we're going to type in our first question. And then we're going to type in our answer. And I don't like that I can't see the whole information right here. And so I always go up and format that cell and tell it to text wrap so that I can see the whole question. Now here for differentiation purposes, we might say that we're going to have a white card with blue font. And then we're ready for question two. Question two is going to deal with an image or a map that I want my kids to work with and decipher. So I might tell them... Look at this image and discuss with your partner something about that map. Now to get that image is very easy, but it's just one little thing you want to be sure you understand. is when we're looking in Google and we do a search for seven years war and we find it here. This is all the information, but let's look just for images. And when we do, we're going to find a map that we like and want to use. And instead of copying this link, we're actually going to go to view the image and when it opens up you'll notice it ends in JPG for JPEG so you want that link to end in an extension that it means for a picture so a JPEG we'll come back over to our spreadsheet and we're going to paste that JPG into that cell the next thing we're going to do is have a video, so we might tell our students to watch this video and discuss with the partner. Now to get a video, it's also very easy. We're going to go out to TeacherTube because it's not blocked by our school filter and our students can actually see these videos. And I'm going to do a search on TeacherTube for Crash Course U.S. History. If you've never had the joy of experiencing a Crash Course video, they're created by John Green, a young adult author, and his brother, and they are fast-paced, engaging, and they provide wonderful content for your kids to learn. 
So one that we're going to use is the Crash Course U.S. History, the Seven Years War. And when that opens up, you'll see that we have the video right here ready to go, but we're not going to use the link to share out on the card or it'll just look like a link. But right down below the video, we're going to see an embeddable player. So anything that you can embed will work for the video. And we're going to highlight and copy that embed code and go back to our Seven Years War spreadsheet. We're going to get ready to paste that in. And I want it to format as well. So I'm going to wrap that text. And you'll notice that it gives the height and the width and pixels of the player. This one's a little too big for the card and I'll, I want to show that to you so you can see it but we'll correct that in just a minute. Now first before we can really get this information onto the cards we're going to go to file and publish this website to the web. It just means we're making it public and it's tying it to the Flippity cards. We're going to publish that link. We're going to say OK and it's going to give us a long link and we're going to right click and copy and have that ready to paste over into our spreadsheet. Now because this is automatically set to republish when changes are made, anytime you make a change to the spreadsheet, it'll automatically be pushed out to the Flippity cards. So when we're ready now to get our link set up to go to Flippity, right down in the bottom uh, of the spreadsheet there's a tab. We're going to click on that tab and we're going to paste that into that green cell and you'll notice this automatically popped up ready for us. This gives us the link to go out onto the web and see our flippity cards. What countries were involved in the Seven Years War? That's going to read out loud and I'm going to go ahead and mute it for now but that's the way you could differentiate with your students. But what countries were involved in the Seven Years War? Flip it over. Here's the answer. Flip it back over. We can go to the next card, look at the image, there's our map. In the next card, watch this video and discuss with your partner. And when we flip it over, we're going to see the video. Now the video is a little too large for the card, so it's kind of too big. We're not seeing the whole screen. So at any time, we can go back to our spreadsheet and we can edit and change the information. I'm headed back to flashcards. And where it says the width and height of the player, I'm going to make this width be 400 and the height be 200. You can play with this, use different sizes, see what works best for you. But now when I come back out to my flippity.net and refresh the screen, it's going to go back to the first card. What countries were involved in the Seven Years' War? I'm going to mute or turn the sound off. And now when I look through and say look at this video, you'll see that we sized it to fit nicely on the card. When we get ready to play it, you can see that it fits. We can see the whole screen, not just part of John. And if we want, we can click on these little brackets in the bottom right hand corner and make the video full screen or watch right here on the card. Now the only thing left to do is to get this information out to your students. So right beneath the flippity cards that you've created, there is a place to share. And when I click on this, I'm going to right click and copy that link. And this is the link that I would share out with my students. There's lots of ways to do that. You could put it in a Google Classroom, share the link out easily if you're using Google Classroom. You could make a QR code out of it if you're using uh, devices that have, a, that have a QR code scanner on it. Or you could also use the Google URL shortener extension and make a shorter link to share out with your students. So think about ways you could share your content, get kids involved in your content. It's just a new, innovative approach to helping kids learn. Hope you try it. Let me know what you think. Thanks.